Hello again and thank you so much for watching. This is going to be a reading for Sagittarius for October 2015. I have pre-shuffled the cards to save time, uh, mainly for uploading uh, larger clips. And um, I will be using two decks. I will use one card, uh, one angel card for the overall theme for October, and I will use five cards for remainder of the reading. If you would like a private reading, uh, you can contact me uh, with the information provided on the uh, comments uh, box or about box. Um, my readings are different. Um, when they're one-on-one, -on -one, I don't use any cards. I will use strict, strict mediumship with uh, loved ones who will come through and I will just be repeating information but for the purpose of YouTube and general reading and a whole bunch of people at the same time I am using cards okay so for the first card which is the general theme for October 2015 for Sagittarius beautiful what we have is the world okay and it says a job well done joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path toward enlightenment. Another sign got this, I don't remember which one, but I will always go back to my guide and ask for more information about this. So I'm gonna see what he wants me to know. Okay, so the words that I'm hearing is a time of celebration. And he's actually drawing my attention to the infinity sign that is on top of this image and what i want to talk about this infinity sign it, it it reminds me of a number eight which to me represents uh abundance on all levels but i'm specifically being drawn towards financial abundance um there is i'm being shown that there is a culmination of situation that is proving to be very fruitful regarding uh financial flow and i feel this is a lot of it is business related i actually see buildings so something to do with tall buildings real estate something of that sort um so the overall uh, feel for the month of October is one of abundance and um, celebrating abundance coming together okay so really exciting now in your first position or in your present position what we have is uh, crown chakra okay so if you don't know what crown chakra is it's a energy center right on top of your head and this is how we connect the spirit uh, I will ask what they want me to tell you about crown, ch crown chakra, um, as I really never know what to do with these cards when they are drawn. It's a beautiful card though. Okay, so what I'm being shown is I'm being shown um, that you are very connected. You're very connected to, I want to use the word spiritual realm. And what I'm being shown is that a lot of your financial abundance and your financial success and I'm getting chills that's always my confirmation comes from you being connected and what I'm being shown is uh, a person or, or people um, having a very firm foundation on the physical realm and a very firm foundation in the spiritual realm and this is a time where you are able to bring those two together and create an abundant lifestyle and an abundant future um, and i'm being shown that your connection to spirit is critical and imperative to your success not only going back but also going forward but whoever i'm speaking to i feel you know that and where you are right now is very much a testament of how being connected to spirit can actually allow you to be abundant in this physical world, okay? So this is actually a very exciting feel. Uh, I get a lot of celebration here, okay? So in your past position or in your near, um, not too distant past, what we have is uh, solitude. Okay, but the solitude number nine was shown in reverse. So I'm going to ask what this means. Mm 
Okay, so what I'm being shown is that um, not that long ago, there was a bit of commotion. And when I say commotion, um, it, it's a commotion on spiritual level and on also on a mental level. And what I'm being shown is a, a person or, or whoever this is um, pertaining to having being in a state of flux or influx, flux, uh, where things are kind of coming and going. Uh, and it's a very much a, a time of questioning, questioning the past, questioning the now and questioning the future. But I feel like this was, um, it wasn't something that really um, kind of put you on your back, so to speak. It, it didn't really, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It didn't really uh, tear you down, if I can, that's the best way I can describe it. It, it, it. it feels like it was a bit of a blimp or a blip in, in your experience, and it doesn't feel overly substantial or overly um, big, but there was a time in your life where you were questioning things, and this is not that long ago, okay? Um, and this is to do with your spirituality, but there was a lot of mental work involved. Mm, see if something else comes up with this. Okay, so on in your immediate future, what you have is, okay, this, whoops, this is, uh, Hope. Um, as you can see, it's a very bright card. It's a very uh, beautiful card. And as a matter of fact, it's number 17 and one plus seven equals eight, which is very consistent with the number eight uh, or the infinity symbol uh, for the overall theme. So, and this is also major arcana cards with card, which signifies a very uh, important message. And what this is telling me uh, and what I'm hearing is, you are coming out of a darkness, and there is a figure in the middle here. I don't know if you can see because there's probably a glare, but there's a figure here, and it's, the figure is very much engulfed in light. Um, and I feel like you are coming from a place of, and I hear the word disappointment, which is relating to this solitude card. Um, but you're coming to a place of brightness and I feel like you are very connected to spirit, as we said earlier. And I feel that hasn't been lacking in your life in the last, I wanna say five or six years. But I feel where you feel where you're going, it's it's almost like it's a step up. Not that it's a hierarchy, and not that you're not in a good place and you're going to a, 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 a better place. But it feels like it's a step up with respect to uh, there's it's another there's an oomph about you. There is uh, there's a feeling of like you've become bigger, not physically, but like you've become bigger, like you feel bigger, your aura is bigger, your energy is bigger. I feel like you're expanded. Thank you. That's the word I want to use. I feel like you are expanded. So going forward, there is very much an expansion happening um, to, to you on a spiritual level, not physical, on a spiritual level. So that's in the near future. In your distant past, what we have is rest and rejuvenation. So what that tells me is that, and this gentleman is actually sitting in a forest and he is in a bit of a meditative state, but it is a very all allowing state. So what this tells me is that there was a time in your life where you have had to resort to a lot of contemplative work, uh, where you've had to sit and listen to your own inner voice and perhaps for a very first time to figure out what it is that you wanted. And I am being shown that this was very much a defining time in your life where you're coming from a certain place in your life and you're going to this contemplation mode and you're, you're, you're questioning, you're questioning yourself, you're questioning your values, you're questioning uh, where you're coming from and where you're going and you're questioning what you have done. Is it what I want in the future? There's a, there's a lot of questioning and a lot of um, uprooting of old systems, I want to say, okay? And I do feel that because of this contemplation, you have come to a place where you have combined your physical life with your spiritual life that is leading you to a path of, I want to say enlightenment, um, I want to say a better future. 
a brighter future, okay? So in distant future, what we have is emotional withdrawal. However, the emotional withdrawal is being shown to me upside down, which tells me that though you have tendencies to withdraw where things are not going well, going forward, you will see much less of that. You will have tendency to do much less of hiding when things are not going well. And I feel because of the contemplation you've done years ago and because of the solitude and because you have combined the physical aspect of your life with the spiritual aspect of your life, you have been equipped or you got yourself to be a, to a point where you are much more equipped to deal with emotional upside downs. So you're not going to be as prone to emotional withdrawal as you might have been in the past. And that is a very, very, very good thing to do. Um, it's just an easier way to deal with life. If we withdraw too often that, you know, sometimes we can get stuck in that withdrawal period for a little bit of a too long of a time. And then it ends up being a little bit more challenging coming back. So um, I want to see if there's any additional information they want me to um, relay. And the word I hear is congratulate, you, congratulate yourself for a, a job well done. Um, this isn't the end of the road. This isn't the end of the journey, as we all know. But I am being told that you have come a long way from where you've been. Okay. And I'm actually seeing a situation where the family you come from and their background and their ideals and their way of thinking and believing is now very different than yours at this time. So your belief system and your ability to view the world in a certain way has transformed over the years. So it is drastically different than from the place you come from as far as the family of origin, okay? So congratulate yourself. I hope this made sense. Um, if you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear them at the box um, comments below. And I look forward to doing a reading for you in November. Okay, thank you and have a great day.